only just met. Let me introduce myself. I'm Isabel Barbara Cook. Most people call me Izzy, not Dad. He calls me Titch. He's such a numpty head. My little brother Ben calls me Isbo. I call him he who chews curtains. He likes red for breakfast and blue for dinner. And then there's drinking buddy ah I go get my tea and this is pinky I think she's jealous of you Jano I want 
to write a story, but what kind? A romance? Science fiction? A comedy? A drama? Fairy tales? Wait, we're getting somewhere. A fantasy story. my fantasy story once upon a time Ugh. no one said this would be easy again from the top not so far away in the land of Astoria a place of peace and magic
this one was about the history of spoons. A little boring. Come on, Firefly. Wow. The village is just a bit further down. I love doing that. The bridge was an old, creaky affair. Careful, Georgia. Careful. Georgia imagines shark fins circling below. Phew! We made it, Firefly. And... Georgia knew many secret paths back to the village. Like this one. She loved feeling the roots around her, as if the tree was giving her a gentle hug. Just one more little slide. Here we go! The old cargo lift, barely used. Happy birthday, Georgia. Oh. One of our sacred five. This is a... Does this mean... Yes. Would you fetch me that book? Ava was sure that Georgia would rise to the occasion. inside her pocket and handed Georgia a gift. Ava's favourite pendant. Sapphire. Now off you go. I'm so proud of you, Georgia. Once, Georgia was surrounded by the hustle and bustle of village life. Firefly. 
my guardian. Why do we have Georgia the old loved candy throwing candy stones candy. over that the roof. That was amazing. Oh, Max, I'm just looking at it. But not today. Then I've seen all morning. Look, Georgia has the book. Today, the fireflower shrine was waiting. She looked over her bustling treetop village. I heard you had a bit of leaf mold. This was all she knew. Yeah, Elder Bassus gave me a poultice. Did it work? She cleared it right And up. it was home. Looks better than ever. Smell that. That's the scent of paradise. I can always use more paradise. Take ten. But inside, she was still curious. Hey, Georgia. Happy birthday. No, you can't have a magic book. Good to see you, Georgia. But Georgia has one. But well, that's different. She's special. But you say I'm special. Careful, careful. No need to rush. About the world that lay beyond. You can do. Use your 
word magic to get to the fireflies.
She used to be a marine biologist. Gran bought some special algae that would grow at home. We spent the whole day planning it. Water. Glass stones. Lights. Sand. Corals. A house. Pebbles. Company. for Gran's photo album for our future selves to remember. How the tank took ages to fill. How we took turns stirring the algae in. After six days, the algae was ready. I put the tank on my desk and ran my finger through the water. My own bit of magic. really bad. I have a weird feeling in my stomach. Something I don't know how to deal with. We just heard that Gran has had a stroke. I don't want to believe it. I can't lose her. Georgia woke from a hazy, distant dream. Something unnatural had stirred her. Thank you. 
Georgia rushed out to meet it. Soon she would prove herself as the new village guardian. I can do this. Right, Firefly? Right? But she could not deny the creeping terror. The earth yawned below her. No, that's not what happens. The earth yawned below her. village guide you. Georgia took a deep breath. She knew what she had to do. She was the guardian. She would bring the fireflies back home. The earth could fall away beneath her. But she would not be stopped. This was further than she'd ever been before. And yet it was exhilarating, wondrous, and terrifying. Fear was at her side, and hope in her heart. But things were about to happen. 
much is much worse. Georgia would not slow down. Not the crumbling path. Not for giant monsters. She would make it answer to her, no matter what. She would catch the dragon. No, wait! She raced forward 